Good evening. Uh, Munir Ajam was another video uh, in our educational series in project management. Uh, today we were meeting with the clients and uh, that we have been working with for many years and giving them certification training. And last month we gave them a methodology course and that created a lot of interesting discussion which remind us of a topic we wrote about a long time ago. This is actually a favorite topic of my colleague Luke Bowman and which talks about what's the difference about education, training and learning. And um, to keep this video short, we'll probably record a couple of videos. Um, and we distinct, we, we, in this video, we'll, we'll try to explain the difference between these three terms. And another video, we'll talk about more specific application of these concepts. Uh, so what's the difference between training as a term, education, and learning? Uh, these terms are often uh, we hear about, and we even have companies that have a training department. Some companies have a learning and development. Some companies have talent management. So maybe this is another firm, uh, term. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, organizations like PMI and others, they have something called education providers. So what what are these all these terms mean? And th does it really matter? Well, obviously, often enough, these terms are used interchangeably to mean the same things, but technically they are not exactly the same. So uh, let's be a bit academic today and explain. It's easy to start with education. Whenever we hear the term education, we often reflect back on long-term uh, programs such as what you get in schools, universities, colleges. Uh, obviously, we can say somebody is getting an education, getting uh, through maybe high school or university or even advanced program. So education typically relates to knowledge and the acquisition of knowledge. Now, of course, in some programs, they have labs and to practice. In some universities nowadays, uh, more and more universities are asking their students for internships. But typically, if we talk about high schools, you know, uh, unless you are really in an elite school, the maximum you can get is a lab. So education is more about knowledge. Now, training is a tough one, and I don't know how to explain this without uh, probably uh, <laughs> hurting some sensitive people. Training typically comes from more of like apprentice training or craft training. Like, I'm going to train you to become a carpenter, or I will train you to become a welder. I will train you to become... Uh, um, and obviously, it's used... In a, uh, it's not only used in crafts, it's used... In professional education and adult education and adult program, we use we talk about training courses. Now the key here, why you know a training course, it might not be the right term. Again, if you want to be academic about it, and forgive me because I usually don't like to be an academic, because uh, as you know I've been talking from experience. Uh, basically, training is basically I need to train you on doing something. So it's like a coach or. Uh, an, an instructor or a trainer, some people use a term, which we definitely hate to use in SUCAD, is that basically I'm training you to do something. However, unfortunately, most adult education, and when we talk about training courses, they are really more, uh, ideally they should be, that we should be training someone. Like for example, obviously, if I want to teach someone how to do uh, an estimate, yeah? So basically we can train them on doing an estimate so we can explain the concept and actually get them to practice it. Now that's a theory, but in reality, often enough, these training courses are more nothing more than lecture with some limited exercises, uh, unless, of course, some clients are willing to expand the time uh, and allow more time to practice on real project and classes, which is unfortunately not many clients like to do this. So training is more ideally is that there is a subject I have to help you learn or I will teach you. So again, the word teaching is not something we like to use in adult education, but we are helping you learn how to apply something. Now, maybe the best way to compare education to learning and remind me of something we've heard a long time ago. As some people ask a teacher or a professor, what's the difference between training and education? And the answer was... Uh, would you like me to educate your kids about sex or train them? Yeah. I think this very eloquent, very short explanation, it kind of provides 
a clearer understanding of the difference between education and training. Now let's move to learning. What's learning? Uh, learning, of course, comes from learn, that I am learning something, I want to learn something. Uh, and depend on how you view learning, we can look at it as acquiring knowledge, which means education, but maybe it's short-term program. Or it can be do linked to applied learning, some people use that term, which is linked to the concept of competency and knowledge we have discussed in previous videos. So I've learned when I, I can say, for example, I'm learning to do something. The idea is, and when I'm finished, I should have been able to say that I have learned to do something. That means I acquired the knowledge and I practice the knowledge and I'm able to demonstrate that I know how to do something. So this is why often learning is linked to competence. And now in SUCAD, when we talk about training and development, we typically don't like to use the word training. We don't like to use the word trainer or instructor or teacher because in adult education, we are not there to teach. We're not there to train. We are there to help facilitate learning. That's the term we like to use at the company in SUCAD. And I know my colleague Luke is very much into these topics. And maybe one of these days I'll convince him to record some videos. Um, so basically, in that case, and this is what we focus usually what we like to do in our programs that are developed by SUCAD, is to focus on the concept of acquired learning, so basically, or applied. So basically what we say, many of our courses, unless it's a certification base, which is that's the topic of the next video, it's outcome-based learning, which means we like our uh, clients, our class participant, to leave the class able to apply, at least in a basic form, what they have, uh, what knowledge they have acquired in the class, and we would have her uh, help them yeah, acquire some of the, maybe some of the tools to use that they can apply on their job directly. Now, of course, whether they apply it or not, that has been a debate for many years, and that resulted in a program we have launched, which will be, uh, which is called Applied Learning Program, which would probably be subject of, of a third video. Um, so, to summarize, uh, we talk about education, we talk about training, we talk about learning. We didn't talk about talent management, and obviously talent management has become the buzzword over the last four to five years, which is many organizations that especially they want international focus, they're starting to use the word talent in a way to reflect that you know they want to develop uh, a, a talent of people, which is fancier word and more upscale or more, uh, how would I say this, more uh, hip terms and uh, skills, yeah? So uh, talent development, obviously, is we're looking forward to, do work, to develop the, the professionals in the organization. With this, we will close this video and we'll record more videos on, on similar concept on education and learning.